It's been 17 years since the Columbine High School massacre, and while none of those 13 who lost their lives there will be forgotten, one student continues to inspire others even now with her courage and faith. Rachel Joy Scott's life story is told in the new movie called I'm Not Ashamed. The film was produced here in Nashville and premiered here last night. Macy McLean and Ben Davies are two of the stars of the film. We're delighted to have them with us today. Great to have you guys with us. How was the premiere last night? Oh, so much fun. It was phenomenal. It was a great experience to have everyone from the cast and crew all together, and then the family came in to actually watch yeah. it with us. That was yeah. special. Now, for folks who don't know this story, um, the movie is not just the story of the Columbine Massacre. It's, it's one young girl's right. life story right. as told through her journals. Tell me more about that. Right, so it really takes us on a journey of her finding her faith. And she was such a normal teenager. She struggled, and she was just trying to figure it out. Um, but in really everything you see on screen is taken straight out of her journals. Every voiceover you hear, every relationship, every friendship, um, like the friendship that Rachel and Nathan has, who he plays in the movie. Right. Yeah, yeah, tell me about Nathan. That's an interesting relationship. Yeah, Nathan was unlike anything I've ever experienced because you know, I've been a part of 17 feature films. This was the first time that I had the responsibility to tell a, a true life story of somebody and, and a story that we felt so passionately about. So trying to step into his shoes was, was pressure that I never felt before, but it was also a conviction I think we all needed to get the performances that we wanted to on set. So he was know. a homeless young man. Yeah, my character actually lived on the streets and then no one found worth in him and then Rachel went out of her way to love and appreciate him and brought him into the circle yeah. and got him back on his feet and it was just it was uh, it was a relationship that I have not seen on camera before and I was blessed yeah. to be able to tell it. Yeah. yeah. Talk about what happened the day of Columbine um, when Rachel had a confrontation with those two young men. Right. So, um, you know, they, they came up from behind her. She was the first person to be shot that day and um, they shot at her and they shot at her friend and then they, they started taunting her and mocking her for her faith and they knew she was a Christian. And then they stood over her and they put a gun to her head and they said, do you still believe in God? And she said, you know I do. And then they shot her. And she had talked to them before about her faith, had she not? Yes, yeah, especially towards the end of her life. She was so vocal about it. And she'd gotten to that point where, I mean, she didn't care. The world ha she found the world doesn't satisfy. And the only thing to satisfy her soul was Jesus. And um, so she was totally at that point where he was everything to her. Wow. I mean, it's a powerful story. Mm -hmm. um, 17 years later, it's, it's remarkable to think that a 17-year-old girl is, is still having an impact yeah. on so many lives. And I think through this film, uh, it's just going to continue. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what's so inspiring about it is because it's just a small, small town girl in Colorado that now has touched the hearts of millions of people. And then we in our own lives think that, you know, what can I do to possibly, you know, fulfill my purpose in life or, or treat others with respect or make an impact in my community. But we, we all have that opportunity. You can see yeah. that through Rachel and, and the impact that she had from God using her in every situation that she was able to walk through in her life in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. Rachel's family was at the premiere last night and they've been instrumental in, in helping this film get made. What was their reaction? Oh. That was the best review I think we could have asked for. Oh. Critical review, having the family come up to us and say, you know, how much they appreciated it and how much they loved it and they were just inspired by it. And then my character mm -hmm. walking up and saying, I forgot I was watching a movie. I felt like yeah. I was reliving a memory. Wow. And so for me, I was That's like, crazy. well, I'm done. Like, yeah, we don't care <laughs> I, I anyone don't else. Like, for any other <laughs> reviews at all, that was all I wanted. So yeah. and it was great to have that because it is such a personal thing. And even the props in the movie, they're not props. Like these are real things that Rachel Like Rachel's had. car. Yeah. Rachel's car, the handprints, the gloves, and so many things that people might skip over. But it's like that's how real life it was. So to have the family appreciate the way they did was everything for us. No. Yeah. When the movie opens October 21st, it opens in select theaters across the country. Um, and how it does that first weekend is going to impact whether or not it gets widespread viewing. Correct. Yeah. So, so we got to make sure everybody sees it the first weekend. October 21st weekend. All right. Yeah, that'd be huge. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations uh, on the film and thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. Appreciate, I appreciate it. it. All right. It's called I'm Not Ashamed. It's in theaters October 21st. You can get all the details online and find the theater nearest you at I'm Not Ashamed Film .com. Well, still to come on Talk of the Town, we're back with another check of your weather right after this.